What's going on everyone and welcome to the Knightsman channel. What we got today is something very very special coming out of Ubisoft which is Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the official gameplay trailer. Now I am ecstatic for this because I love Assassin's Creed and you know I love that they're going down the Viking sort of style, the saga because I love the Vikings too. I'm a big fan of the TV show and I've heard some epic things. So we have the gameplay right here in front of us. I want to you know deep dive into what this trailer has and what it can provide to me, what it can provide to the channel and what it can provide to you. So definitely stick around and have a good little look because we are deep diving into this uh, so make sure you hit the like button subscribe and uh, yeah hit that bell notification without further ado let's go let's go oh I'm excited I think it's about five minutes here work in progress but that's good for me here we go Ubisoft all right in Assassin's Creed Valhalla you will relive the oh, epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. That's got their feel to it too. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened right. warriors across his the North Sea his? to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. Here we go, here we go, but a gameplay. It is time we go Open Viking. sail. Today yes. We a little bit of raiding going down range. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. A land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from nice. the shoreline. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. Alright. Feels like it's got a different vibe to it already. Yes. I love how you can uh, set a light on the, you know, on the rooftops. Yes, we'll vibe them up, nice. Your crew will assist you in all your raids. Fighting enemies. Battering down doors. And stealing cargo yes. too heavy for one set of arms. Whatever riches and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement. Cold. Giving you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. Build the catty cat. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made. And Different a guide field for future to it. Like it. The Viking Age was a time of warriors yes, them, and legends. Them. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled yeah, in an Assassin's awesome. Creed game. Cool, got a good different style too. Every archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, yes. while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies oh, okay. of fallen warriors. Strong. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take right, the fight combat. to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Yes. Snare them with a the Viking harpoon. Damn. Pummel them with throwing axes. Oh my god. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance or finish oh. them off. I'm loving it so far. Here we go. Dual wield any two weapons you wish yes. to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Oh. Customize your fighting style as you see fit and become a legendary Viking warrior. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Damn, just going hard. Oh, damn, that was ruthless. Not all situations call for yes. violence. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies. Avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling yes, cities. Right. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes. An unseen hunter among the people. From capital cities and villages to the dense forests yes, and rolling hills of England, going on. Look exploration at that. Wow. is vital to keeping yourself sharp. 
You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. This hunting Damn, forage to replenish your health and fortify your equipment. Oh, new skill point, awesome. Search pagan temples and Roman ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. Wealth collected, all right. The more you explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. Ravens, Salt. No mercy. But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded Saxon oh, forces. Yeah, that's cool. Today, we will reclaim her. Different ways Today, of getting in there, that'll be cool. Your land. And tomorrow, we rebuild. Assassin's Creed Valhalla oh, will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths. And England's pagan roots. It will challenge Man, big, and surprise. Thank you, big. With unforgettable characters. Must have been a Viking, surely. Thrilling triumphs and tragic losses. Giving you the chance to oh. live your own Viking Here saga. we go, there's the hidden blade. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Available, available November the 17th. Boom, there we go. Okay, that is a Valhalla. Now, straight off the bat, you know, the different locations look amazing. And I can only wonder, you know, um, what this game would be like on a PlayStation 5 where we, you know, seem to, or even the new Xbox, where, you know, there's whole bunch of possibilities out there where we're not just confined um, to load screens and like you know just areas we are loading in the background you know it's just going to be so fluid and I think that's going to work perfectly um, for Assassin's Creed game like this now you know there's a couple of things to juggle in here so we had the Viking aspect which I'm a huge fan of um, but it looks like they did bring back that kind of assassin feel I was really wondering how they would kind of mingle the two um, with that Viking culture and the, you know the previous assassin creed game you know that seems like sometimes it was hard to find that balance but you know i think they might have done it quite well um and i mean that map just looks so vast and rich um i think someone played maybe six hours of this and i was watching a little bit of um you know what they were saying um, and they were saying that the combat feels totally different um, you would think you could just kind of pick it up like uh, any of the other Assassin's Creed game and that wasn't the case uh, you kind of had to really get used to the different combat so that's good that they've changed up that sort of aspect you know that's going to hold my attention that's going to keep me engaged um, the next thing was um, I think the the village you know adding something personal to the game and building something I think that's really rewarding for players um, I absolutely would love that just creating my own village being able to, to, to you know defend it um, set up different things and just you know really make it customizable I feel like though that this game is just going to be like you know at the end of you know the Vikings I think all our villages are going to look exactly the same it isn't quite like a uh, I don't know I might be speaking a bit too early but it isn't too custom customizable to the point where you know me and you could have totally different villages it might be like that but I've got a feeling that you know I don't know it won't be it'll just be stock standard upgrades and then that's just going to increase the things that you can do um, I mean what I like to see it, it is you know there to be able to to customize a whole village and have the village how you want it I mean that would be cool um, you know it, it would make you feel like you want to return there um, because I think in the last Assassin's Creed you know there wasn't any really big bases where you're like you know I want to return here I want to just this is my settlement I don't really think they had that and I think this is going to be something new um, that they are introduced and I think it's going to go down quite well but how customizable is it is the big question mark from my side I want to see it you know being able to add your own spice to it because at the end of the day it wanna, it's, it's my village I want to make it as cool as it can be I just don't want it to be a stock standard 
upgrade boom here's a, another storefront for you or here's another storefront um yeah i mean the the the, the rating the, the aspect seems pretty cool you can set them um set the roofs on fire and really you know tackle um you know a countryside or a little area with your little viking raiding party um i think they've hit certain aspects um you know on on the nail on the head um for the viking sort of thing i do think they successfully captured up um what the viking story is um, and i'm interested to see if that story is is fluid um, or it's you know improved on what the previous games were i feel like some of the other previous games are just a bit too big and sometimes you get a little bit lost um, but I really want this game to hone down into capturing your attention in the story, uh, really making you want the player to succeed in, you know, conquering England or, you know, building up your village or, or whatnot. Um, looks like we've got boats in there, which is cool. Um, I like the little aspects like fishing, hunting the dead to survive. That's what you need to do to restock your journey. It seems pretty cool. Um what else we got in there it's quite a lot to kind of divulge in that gameplay trailer um two dual weapons it seems pretty cool looks like you can customize it a bit quite a few weapons that you can you know kind of change around it looks like some of the enemies um look pretty cool as well the wolf um, we've got some big vikings you've got some you know mythological um you know beings which which is which is spot on um but you know what i want to know is is this going to fulfill me for an assassin's creed game am i going to get that satisfaction um i love vikings i love assassin's creed so i'm going to cross my fingers um november 17th that's a you know a big date we've got a lot of games coming out like cyberpunk um so how well is this game going to hold against you know those big other triple a titles we'll see um i think you know the concept of what, of what Ubisoft is trying to do is there and I think all they need to do now is just execute um, I want that detail to be there if it's on PlayStation 5 I am that detail better be there I, I want to be immersed in the environment which looking at it looks pretty good um, there's so many different type of environments that you can get into uh, look I just want to I, I want to hit that start button and I want to be in the Viking world. That's what I want to feel. And if Ubisoft does it right, then this game could be massive. But because I love Assassin's Creed and Vikings, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 for the Knightsman score. That's my lucky number. I think it deserves it. And it's only going to keep, you know, getting better and better. Um, so I think that was a solid gameplay trailer. Um, they gave you a little bit of hints here and there um, into some of the assaults, the combat, the stealth. Um, so I think this trailer was put together quite well and I think Ubisoft hit it on the head uh, But now it's all about their execution and let's see if they can do it So I'm gonna keep my my fingers crossed again and be like come on Ubisoft you got it Assassin's Creed Valhalla come at me November 17th Hopefully you've enjoyed this trailer um, if you have make sure you hit that like button Let's get this video trending. Let's get these likes going on um, Definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to join the Knightsman family and uh, hit the bell notification as well But apart from that we're off We're gonna watch a couple more trailers because Ubisoft's gone hard today. So without further ado Thank you very much. That is Knightsman Nature. Ching